So what the heck happened? All right. Well, anyway, my legs hurt. You might not be able to see it. I mean, I got a cut there, but this is swollen right here. It's going to be a bruise. That doesn't look that bad. Well, so I was uh, walking up in the attic to put this. As you can see, I have the it cut out and put a fan light in here. And uh, so I cut that out and I have to put a, I have to put this up there, right? To attach between the joists. Well, I had already cut this. I went up there, but it was too snug. All right. So I had to take a little bit off of this. So I was walking back through the exactly. joists. But I heard a loud like, boom. You heard a kaplunk? Yeah. A kaplutu? Something like that. Pop. Yeah. So I'm walking through there and and I'm I'm walking through like this because that's all I can see. Right. So I'm you know I have the flashlight and I'm carrying this and I'm going from beam to beam. Well, I'm holding on to stuff on the right and the left. I put my hand on suitcases and when I went like this, the suitcases had wheels on them. They rolled. My uh. foot went, and then my other foot went. And the next thing I know, um. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And you know how hard that's going to be to clean? I mean to fix? Incredibly. I'm not happy. I imagine not. Yeah. That was like one of the worst. I mean, I'm glad you're okay. That's the second time that that's happened to me. Once was in, a, in the living room years and years and years ago. Before Was it before? I think it was before you were born. I think so. Yeah. Because I don't have any memory of it, although like, I could just be really young. Luckily for this one, when my foot went through, I landed on the shelf. My foot. Yeah. And I was like, all right, where am I right now? You know, up as far as the house. And then I'm like, and how can I touch anything? So I'm like, is this my, bu you know, my bureau, my room? Where the heck am I? Mm -hmm. And then I looked down and I threw the opening and I could see that it was your mother's closet. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, now my back hurts and my leg. Back hurts, leg hurts, and there's a huge hole in the ceiling. Yeah. Well, I'll just take that stuff off and put plastic over it for now until I can get a chance. That, that, that All that crap has to come out of the closet so I can get to it. Your mom has like six billion clothes in there, so I never met a human being that needs so many clothes. Yeah. So, anyway, now I got to go back up and put this there. Well, do be careful. No, I'm going to run up there on the joist, see how fast I can go, Tom. See if I'm I can saying for your I mean, own I'll be health. stupid. I'm saying for your own health. Jeez. Calm down. Well, yeah, I could have been all the way on the floor, and you wouldn't even came out of your room, would you? I heard you moving when I was trying to get out to get to you, but you left the ladder to the attic, which is, you know, right there. My, my leg is killing me now. I imagine it is. My knee's swollen. Oh, man. All right, well, I'm going back to work. All right. And this time, I hope if I fall through, I lay right on my head and die, and then that's it. I'm just kidding. I was going to say, that's a bit messed up. I don't up. mean that for real. I was just kidding. Yeah, don't tempt that. Oh, I, need my, I need my flashlight. That should help. So that way I can see where I fall. Well, you should have light coming up from the hole now. At least a little bit, right? Now what happened? I cut my finger. I was, um, what was I doing up there? I was pulling a wire or something like that. My hand slipped and hit the metal box and sliced my finger. It's merely a flesh wound. It's not bad. It looks I mean, worse than it probably is. Oh yeah, you should see all the blood upstairs. I'm a bleeder. Well, I know that. Yeah, see, there's a little cut. Oh yeah, there's hardly anything. Yeah, and the thing is, I didn't even know it was bleeding, so I'm working up there away. Yeah, I imagine. That burns. But I'm up there working away, and then all of a sudden I'm like, why does my hand get sticky? And I look down and there's blood. I, see, I wiped it on my shirt. Yep. I'll tell you what, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all, would I? Apparently, if it's not one thing with you, it's another. Falling through ceilings, cutting yourself on metal boxes. Yeah, but you know what? The best thing is, 
I'm done out there now. Good. That's, that's, well, as long as everything works when I put it all together. As long as it comes on, the light comes on, and the fan comes on. All this for a new light fixture and a ceiling fan. And for, because I mean, it's a bathroom. People go in the bathroom in there. You know, you need a little background noise so that people aren't listening to you go to the bathroom in there, right? Grounds it out. Yeah. Whew, that burns. We're going to have to put a band-aid on that because I'll just keep bleeding. <sighs> this is something else. But, like I said, and then I got to paint the ceiling because the paint all chipped around it. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You know why? That fixture, guys, was from bleh, probably the 60s or the 70s. It was the house was built in the 60s, so probably probably was from the 60s, but it could have been added when my uncle owned this house because he did a lot of this stuff. But those kind of fixtures heated up. And that's why it's brown there. It actually was uh, heating up the wallboard. Luckily there's no was never a fire. There, yeah, really. You know? What I'm putting in is LED lights. Um, and so they don't burn hot. Yeah. But you figure back in the day when you're getting hundred watt light bulbs and put them in there. Those things get hot. I don't know if you guys ever touched one, but pff, you burn your They're hand. Hot. But yeah, um, oh geez, I'll tell you. I still got a little bit of work to do and then hopefully that'll be it. I don't see how I can get hurt anymore in here, like right here. I don't think so. I hear sirens. So do I. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Did you call the hospital because I cut my finger? No, I, I was right in front of you the whole time. I know, I'm just kidding. All right, well, let me get back to work and finish this thing off. My back is killing me, my leg is killing me. Has it turned black and blue yet? And it looks like it's starting to right in there. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, that hurts right there. Yeah. Well, you're almost done, right? Too old for this crap. Tom, you need to learn how to do this stuff. Why, so I can fall through the ceiling and then you have somebody yell at? Yeah, well, that would be better. No, it wouldn't. It'd be better than me falling through the ceiling. Yeah, but you don't have to deal with like the emotional consequences of getting yelled at. I yell at myself inside my head. You should be there sometime and hear what I do to myself. I feel like I don't want to at all. I give myself a beat down when I do stuff like that. Like what the, you stupid. Oh yeah, it's an ugly place to be inside my mind. Why do you want me to go there? Well, just for a visit. I'd rather not. All right, let me get back to work. All right, so I got it done. I didn't paint it. I'm gonna paint it while it's up there because I can get a brush right, right up next to it. Not a big deal. That's good. But anyway, here it goes. Nice. You hear it? Yep. Everything works. Only one cut knuckle, one bruised leg. Um, and a broken whole, ceiling. Broken ceiling and a bruised ego. That's all I got. That's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. Just for a light. Just for one stupid little light. I mean, it didn't help with the whole wire situation up there. No, that was a nightmare, guys. There was there were so many wires going in there, and I didn't know where they went to. There's a couple of them. I still don't know where they go to, because they go to the outside wall, and I couldn't find anything else that was off when I turned the fuse off. So I don't know what they went to. I have no idea. I still don't know. It didn't even go to this outlet. But you would think that this outlet would be connected to this light, but it's not. The juice comes from the living room. Yep. Which makes no sense. So the juice was coming here, and then there was three other wires in there. So I don't know where they went. So all I did was is what I used was the box that was up there that it was all wired in. I used it as a junction box. So I just had to find out which was the live wire and which one was the neutral wire. Because what was wrong with those wires? What do you mean what was wrong with them? They were both the same color. Oh, they were both the same color, white. And you know, this had to hook, you know, your, your power wires had to hook to the white and your neutral wire to the black. Well, there was no black. They were both white. They were both Which white. Which meant that one was a live wire and one wasn't. Yeah, right, one Luckily was Luckily you had a voltmeter. Yeah, so yeah, I have a voltmeter, so I tested it, found out what it is and everything, and. And, uh, and now we have this light there, which is good. The only thing I, I'm a little worried about is LED. Do they burn out? Um, eventually, but it takes a lot longer than a halogen bulb. Yeah, because I have no idea how to, how to replace them on this. 
I have no idea. I guess I'll have to look There's at There's no things. like bulbs that it came with or anything? No, it, that, that unit there is just flat. And when I say it takes a long time, I mean it takes a very long time for oh, LEDs, so probably, they don't like burn out. So I'll probably be dead before they burn out. So Why saying? do you always have to make it so weirdly morbid? I mean, I get it. It's well, something it's a weird long time. I'm not going to be around forever, dude. You don't have to say it is the I think, thing. I think when the lights go out, the lights go out. You know what I'm saying? But when these, when these bulbs go, maybe it's just time to buy a new light. Honestly, that's probably how it's set up. Yeah. So there we go, guys. I got that done. I just got to do a little painting around there. Uh, I just like throw a chunk of the ceiling on the floor. Did I? Well, I got a vacuum in here and everything anyway. I got a mess. I am dog tired now. I Normally, imagine. I would be grabbing myself a beer, but I'm not drinking every day, so I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to grab myself a water. I was gonna say, at least hydrate. But now I gotta put all this stuff away. There you do. Eh, we're not done yet. So, uh, internet's off. Because for some reason, we think there's a loose wire up there. Because this house is electrical, it makes no sense to me at least. So, apparently the fuse that goes to the laundry room also connects here in the living room and to my room. So, that one fuse controls all these things. Well, when the light was done, he tried to turn the power on. The clock's over there, and like stuff over there all turned on. The internet didn't. And apparently there was a little bit of power, because by this point it stopped, but my ceiling fan up there... My ceiling fan was on. So... It was on, and then it turned off because it was spinning. But it was like slowing down at its spin, so we're not quite done yet. Or he's not quite done yet. But I also can't finish the work I have to do until after. Oh, that's, that's a normal noise. I can't finish the work I have to do until after we get internet again. So <laughs> we're at an impasse. Hopefully it's just the loose wire and it gets reconnected and everything's fine. But when is it ever that easy? Yeah. Unbelievable. So what was the uh, what was the fix? Okay, so <coughs> in that junction box, right? Uh huh. People don't do things the way I do them. When I put wire caps on, you know what a wire cap is, right? Yeah. Or wire nut, whatever. I saw them up in the uh, in the thing. Yeah. I like to put electrical tape around it also. Okay. So this way none of the wires can back out when you push them in. That makes sense. Or if they touched another one, you know. Anyway, there's no tape in them there. So when I push them all in the junction box to put the lid on, I think that it took one of the, um, the ground wires came off, came out. Uh... So it wasn't, complete, it wasn't complete. So your, your circuits were, this one in, in your room was, uh, was off. It's funny that how that worked, it. but but the one for the for the light out there was still good. Yep, and for you know because that, that was still stuff. well that was still in the wire cap with the and it had another ground wire in it. The other three wires came off. That would do it. Yeah. So. Well, thanks. at least that was a simple fix. Yeah, except for having to go back up in the attic and and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it could have been the other wires came out, which would have been harder for me to get to and everything. But it's like, I, I swear. The, the luck that I've been having is so bad and everything. I think I should just take the rest of the year off and just sit down. I don't blame you. All right. Well, now I can clean up. Yeah. 